welcome back viewers in today's video we are going to install the archgraph lxd desktop so i have already downloaded the iso so archgraph offers three isos first iso that we have checked in the earlier two videos was this iso archgraph 2023-0101 so it was released on january and it featured the open box window manager second iso that is offered is the lxd desktop third is the accept c desktop so these are the standard offerings from archcraft so let us begin with the installation of lxd desktop open it in boxes We are now booted into the live desktop of LXD. So this is the LXD live desktop for Archcraft and we will now immediately start with the installation of the Archcraft. So it is showing us some uh, warning. This text file uh, install Archcraft seems to be an executable, executable script. What do you want to do it? Execute it in terminal or execute. So what to do? Let us uh, try this execute let us see what happens so with this option it is opening the calamars installer now we can proceed with it and uh, second option executing terminal should also be uh, interesting we will check this out in next video what happens when we choose executing terminal maybe it will start the command line installer so the local is properly selected automatically keyboard i will go with india english india with rupee we will go with manual partitioning create a new partition table create a boot partition with the fat 32 slash boot okay so what we did is we forget to remove the correct the space so 500 mb will be more than enough create extended for is okay mount point should be slash that is the root partition or what we can do is uh, we yes we will directly go with root so that way the swap uh, will be created in a file inside the root partition so this is also one option to create partitions without the swap so swap will be created as a file in inside the root partition whenever required now we will hit the next and the option to install bootloader will be on the mbr that is the master boot record of vda that is the hard disk so we will not uh, pay heed to the warning because we are installing it on a virtual hard disk where mbr style partitioning is better than the gpt That's it and now we will choose one password, simple password that we can remember. Use the same password for admin account. Hit next. We will now check the summary of the partitions that will be created and how the system will be set up. So the summary is okay for us. And now we will hit install button. So there is no confirmation for install directly it starts installation only so this is the difference between other linux distribution and archcraft when you hit the install button in the calamus it will not reconfirm it will directly start the installation process 
and here one thing i notice that it is not this virtual machine is not able to detect the battery so it is showing us that it is uh, on ac uh, that is ac power only but uh, i want to tell you that it is on battery right now but since it is running in virtual uh, as a virtual machine it is not able to detect the battery it only detects the power as ac instead of the battery right now it is being powered by the battery but it is it will show only the ac power so this keep this in mind it is not a uh, what we can say it is not uh, any bug but it is uh, because it is a virtual machine it cannot detect the battery on the laptop okay so we are finished with the installation we will stop the video here. See you in the next video. Bye bye.